let's discuss the few problems of the property and laws these problems will help you in, into the NTC examinations the first problem is a trader marked his goods at 20% above the cost price 20% above the cost price he sold half of the stock at the market price one quarter at 20% discount on the market price and the rest discount of 40% on the market price. we have to calculate the total gain of the trader now there are several ways to solve this problem let me discuss a very fine problem and the shortest way to solve this kind of a problems see carefully how we formulate the equations here a trader marked his goods at 20% above the cost price he sold the half of the stock at the market price one part at a discount of 20% on the market price and the rest at a discount of 40% on the market price. okay now let the cost price be x let's assume the cost price be x therefore the market price this market price would be 20% above the cost price it means the market price is x 1 plus 0 0.20 that is 1.20 x right this is 20% above the cost price second says now see carefully how I'll make the selling price he set the total selling price half of the stock say this is half half of the stock at the market price half of the stock at market price that is m into one quarter at a discount of 20% on the market price one quarter that is 1 upon 4 80 20% discount of 20% on market price we left with 80% of the market price that is 0 0.80 mp plus and the rest what is the rest here half here it is 1 by 4 it, here it is we left with 1 minus half minus 1 by 4 which is 1 upon 4 right that is 1 upon 4 of a discount of 40 percent that means we lack with the 60 percent this is very important here because whenever we get it given a discount we see we should see how much you lack with discount is 40 percent we lack with the 60 percent that is 100 minus these are the rough calculations 0 0.60 of let's calculate total SP in terms of market price now the total SP become here 1 by 4 MP 1 by 4 of 0 0.80 plus 1 by 4 of 0 0.60 if we calculate it it becomes 1 plus 0.4 plus 0 0.30 upon 2 that is 0 0.85 of market price now we have even the selling price we, have, we know the SP we know the CP here can we calculate the this? Calculate the gain percentage here. Yes, we can calculate it here. Now, gain percentage is gain is what? If we calculate the selling price in terms of the cost price, then easily we can calculate the gain here. Now, as selling price is 0 0.85 of market price, and the market price is 1.20 of X, that is cost price. Let me put here this is 0 0.85 into market price is 1.20 cost price let's multiply 0 0.85 with the 1.20 this is this is equal to 1.02 of now can we say this is sp this is selling price this is cost price can we say what is the profit here what is the gain here yes we can say this 0 0.02 always reflects the gain it means gain is 2 percent thus the answer is a this is the very easiest way. If we calculate the SP in terms of CP, we can always say the something beyond the decimal point is the decimal point is that percentage. That is, it can be discount, it can be, it can be discount, it can be the profit or loss according to the equation form. Let's come to the next problem. Here is the problem. A trader gives 4% discount on the market price and give work article free of for buying 15 articles. And thus gain 35 percent we have to calculate the market price above the cost price so we have to calculate the percentage of the market price which is above the cost price now analyze the problem we have gain, given the gain percentage and gain is come from the selling price and the cost price this is very important whenever we have gain and loss it's from selling and cost price when we have, whenever we have a discount it's from market price and the selling price now gain is 35 percent let selling price be x First way, then cost price be x, then selling price would cost price be x, then cost price of 15 articles that is 15 into CP becomes 
15x. This is the cost price of 15 articles. Now selling price of 16 articles because the one article is free of cost. Here we calculate the selling price of 16 articles is gain over the cost price of 15 articles. This is very important. Cost price of se selling price of 16 percent. 16 article is selling price of 16 article is, is gain of 35 percent over 15 per articles of cost price. Now gain is 35 percent. That is 15x. This is the cost price. Now gain is 35 percent. That is 1 plus 0.35. This is we have written the gain here. 15x into 1 plus 0 0.35. That is 15x into 1.35. This is very important to learn how to write this kind of equation here. Now, selling price of one article is 15x upon 16 into 1.35. Now, this is selling price of one article. This cost price of one article is x, right? And can we calculate the market price and p? Because we have to find the relationship between the market price and the cost price. We need to find the relationship between the market price and the cost. Now, market price is is discount is 4% here. That means selling price price is equal to market price into that is discount. Discount is 4%. That is 1 minus 0 0.04. That is selling price is 0.96 of market price. Therefore, market price is selling price upon 0 0.96. And thus, we know the selling price here in terms of x, which is 15x upon 16 into 1.35 upon 0.96 this is mp we know the cp that is x now on calculation calculating all these things whatever come with the 1 plus or 1 minus would be the median or loss or percentage ratios so difference of market price and the cost price let's calculate this 15 upon 16 into 1.35 upon 0.96 this is comes out 1.50 of x Therefore, species. Therefore, we say market price is 1.50. Okay, I say this is market price is 1 plus 0 0.50. Now, this 1.50 is 50 percent above the cost price is the market price. Next question: Common buys an article at a discount of 25 percent. At what percent above the cost price should she sell it to them? Make a profit of 25 percent over the original list price. Again, we do the same thing. Common buyers an article at a discount of 25%. At what percent above the cost price should she sell it to the make a profit of 25% over the original list price? Let the market price x therefore selling price to common buyers at the discount of 25%. That is x into 1 minus 0 0.25, which is 0 0.75 x. This is your selling price in terms of x, which is market price. And now we have to calculate percentage of cost price should she sell to make a profit of 25% over the original list price. Now, now this is SP. Now this is would be the cost price of for Kamal. Because now she, when she sells this, this, she needs a profit of 25% over the original list price. Therefore, selling price for Kamal 25% of the Original list price. Original list price here is x. That is 1.25 x. This is the now. We know the CP and SP. Now let's calculate the profit. Because we need we know the selling price over the market price, which is 1.25. Selling price is 1.25 of x and cost price is 0 0.75. It means selling price upon 1.25 is equal to cost price upon 0 0.75. Now selling price is cost price into 1.25 upon 0.75 which is let's cancel it out with 25 25 5 is 125 25 3 that 175 that is 5 upon 3 which is equal to cost price into 1.667 so for the profit is 66.7 percent here is the profit we have we have calculated the selling price in terms of the cost price this was easy now SP is 1.66 CP therefore gain is 66.66.7 percent next the price of VCR is marked at rupees 12,000 if successful discount of 15 percent 10 percent and 15 percent 5 percent are allowed then 
at what price does a customer buy it? Market price of PCR is given that is 12,000, right? Is successive discount 15%, 10%, 5% are allowed. Now, in this kind of problems, this is really very simple. Let's selling price after one discount would be 12,000 into 15% discount that is 1 minus 15% is 0 0.85. This is selling price first after the first discount. Now, selling price to after the second discount would be this would be the market price now into 0.85 multiplied with 10% that is we left the 90% that is 0 0.90 and now last 5% is also allowed that is 12,000 into 0.85 into 0 0.90 this is the third market price that is after the two successive discounts now third discount is 5% that is we left with the 95% that is 0.95 now we calculate this this 12,000 into 0.85 into 0 0.90 into 0.91 let's calculate this 85 into 90 into 0.95 The answer is H7 to B option. Now, next problem. Kind of a same problem of so the previous one. The price of an article is raised by 30% and then two successive discounts of 10% each are allowed. Ultimately, the price of the article is now the price of an article is raised by 30%. That is from the selling price. It means the market price is 1.30 of X then. Are two successive discounts are allowed. Now, selling price first would become 1.30x. Discount is 10% from 1.90. Now, when we apply a second discount, we have to take this as a market price. After one discount, that is 0 0.90. Again, a discount is 10%. We left with the 90% is 0.90. This is the SP2. Now, x is what the cost price is 1.30 into 0 0.9 into 0 0.90 is. Yes, 1.530x. That means SP is 1.530 of cost price. That means this 0 0.530 is the increase percentage. Therefore, this is increased by 5.3%. Now, SP2 is 1.30 into 0 0.90 into 0.90 is become 1.053x. Therefore, we can say this is 1.053 of cost price. This is 0 0.053 is what? Gain percentage. That is 5.3%. It is increased by 5.3%.